What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to create an area plan and we're going to apply a color scheme. Okay, so let's create an area scheme and an area plan. So to do that, so from the architecture tab, so we'll be looking for room and area panel. Okay, so as you can see, there's a drop down arrow. So you can uh, click down. Okay, so you can click this one and then as you can see, you have an option here like uh, color schemes. So if you click that, you'll be able to create a color scheme for your spaces, for your areas, for that, uh, HVAC zones, pipes, rooms, and spaces. Okay, and you can also use area and volume calculations. So I'm going to select this one. To create an area scheme so as you can see here so there's an option for the computation so volumes are computed at finished phases so you can select here areas only which is faster and then you also have here areas and volumes you can also select this one where the volumes are calculated at finished phases and then you can also select where your room area computation will it gonna be at the wall finish wall center wall core layer wall core center okay so what we are going to do is we're going to create an area scheme so i'm going to select this one so we have couple of um, area scheme here so we have gross building and then we have uh, rentable here okay so we are going to create a new one so i'm going to select a new one and then let's say i want to create an area scheme for circulation of the building Okay, so circulation, and then you can specify here the description if you want. So once you're done, so you just need to select here, okay. Okay, so now the next thing that we'll be doing is we're going to create an area plan. So to create an area plan, so here you can click the drop down arrow, you can see here area plan. Okay, so we are going to do that in this uh, level one but we're going to create a separate area plan. So I'm going to select the drop down arrow and then click area plan. So I'm going to select this one. And then here for the type, we are going to select the area scheme that we created, which is uh, this one, the circulation. Okay. And then we will be selecting level one. Okay. So we're going to do that on level one and then I'm going to select here. Okay. So after, the, after that, you just need to select here uh, yes to automatically create area boundary lines associated with all external walls. So I'm going to select yes and that's it. So as you can see here on the project browser, you were able to create an area plan now based on the area scheme that you have created which is circulation. So if you click that plus sign you'll be able to see here level one again you can rename this if you want by right clicking and then selecting here rename right so this is now our area plan now the next thing that we are going to do is let us specify the area boundary okay the area boundary to specify the boundary lines for the area so to do that again from the room and area so you can see here so you have area this time Okay, so let's click our area here. All right, and then we are going to place the area. So as you can see here, you will notice this is a one big area. Okay, so we are not going to do this. We are going to subdivide our uh, area here. Okay, you can do this if you want to get the whole area of the magenta boundary line so let me cancel this one by selecting modify you see there's the color there there's the boundary line the magenta okay so we are going to subdivide our area okay so to do that so let's click the drop down area uh not that one which is this one the area boundary so i'm going to select the area boundary and then you have an option here so you have the draw panel wherein you can specify the area uh boundary so for this, I'm going to use uh, pick lines. Okay, so let's click the pick lines. And then I'm going to select the interior walls. So this is the interior walls. So I'll click that one. So I click this one here. 
and this one as well this one here this one here and this one what else this one here and this one here okay and then after that we are going to create another one here okay so maybe for this one i'm not going to you i'm just going to press uh, modify or select modify here to terminate the boundary the area boundary so i do not want to include this line here so i'm going to select that and then delete now for me to be able to see it clearly i'm going to turn off the thin lines here so you click that so that you can see the lines there properly or clearly okay so let us now finalize our boundary so I'm going to select modify here and then I'll be using trim extend corner. So let's click that one. So I'm going to click this to extend that up to that line. Okay. And then after that, I'll be using this one trim extend uh, this one trim extend single element. So let's click this line here and then let's click this line here to extend. And we do not want this line here. So I'm going to select trim extend to corner. So I'm going to click this and then I'm going to select this one to trim that corner. Okay, so what else do we need? So make sure it's closed. All right, so I think that's it for this one. So we want we have one area here and then we have one area here. So we have one area here, area here. I have area here and i have an area here okay so for this side here so i'll go in back again to architecture uh area boundary again using the pick line so i will be selecting this line here so if you cannot select so what you can do is you can draw okay you can use line tool okay so let's click line tool so i'm going to select let's say from here to here okay so I'm going to click from here then I'm going to select from here to here like that okay and then escape all right okay so now the next thing that we will be doing so let us now specify the area so after we create the boundaries the area boundary so let us now specify the area here so click the drop down make sure you select the area so you click this and let us click it one by one so this is our first area so let's click that there you go so this one as well this one as well the toilet area and then here okay the elevator and then this area here and then this area here there you go and then i'm going to select here modify okay now for this area here so i'm going to change the name of this so instead of area that's just the default name so i can click this one by the way and then i can drag that to move that one here Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change the property of this area. So let's select the area. So by the way, if you want to select the area, because as you can see, you need to hover your pointer until you highlight the area for you to be able to select that, right? So if you want to permanently see that area, that cross symbol for area, so what you can do is you can go to properties and then you can go to the visibility graphics override. You can click that. And then you can see the areas here you expand that and then you can check here the reference you tick the reference and then you select here okay and then once you do that you will now be able to see the area symbol right okay but for me i do not want to see that it looks dirty so i'll go back again to visibility graphic overrides and check the reference and then okay so i'll just hover my pointer until it highlights i click that and then I'm gonna change the name here. So I'm gonna call this uh, retail. So that's my retail area and then enter. By the way, you can also check here what is the area of the retail area and then what is the perimeter as well. You can also specify here the room number. Okay, 
So that's it for my uh, retail area. So now I'm going to change the rest of my room. So I'm going to select this one as well. Like uh, this is also retail area. So I'm going to select this and then click the drop down arrow since I already type retail. So it should be available now from the drop down arrow. So that's the retail again, apply. That's our retail. Okay. So for this one, make sure you press tab for you to be able to select the area if you're having a difficulty but for me i just need to hover from here so that's the area symbol you click that and then let's change the name okay so this will gonna be my uh let's say elevator okay so that's my elevator elevator okay and then i'll just apply there you go so that's my elevator and then this area here, that one. So this will gonna be my circulation area. Apply. Okay, and then this area here, this will gonna be my uh, toilet. So I select this and then I specify the name here, toilet. Apply. Okay, and then for this area here, this will gonna be my offices. So you click the area. Change the name, offices, and then apply. Okay. And another thing, after I select, uh, uh, while the area is still selected, I'm going to change here the area type. So I have different area types here. So for that offices, I'm going to make that, of course, the office area as the area type. So office area for that offices, and then apply. And then here for the toilet, where's the area for the toilet that one so you click so the the toilet so that will gonna be a uh, floor area so that's the area type apply and then for the circulation you click the drop down arrow so for the area so building common area so I'll just select there uh, building uh, common area for the circulation and then here this is my hallway by the way so how am I going to select okay so as you can see I'm having a difficulty selecting the area so I'm gonna hover my pointer to the name and then I'm gonna press tab tab again there you go so it now highlights the area so again hover your pointer do not click just move your pointer to the name and then press the tab once tab again there you go so it now highlights the area so you click that to select the area and then change the name so that will gonna be my hallway which is a building common area as well okay and then apply for the retail so I am gonna going to select the retail so I select that Okay, and then for the retail, what will gonna be the area type of that? Retail. Okay, so I'll just select here store area. Apply. Same here. So you select the area there. Select uh, store area. Apply. So what else? So offices already done. Okay, so that's office area. Circulation, that's a building common area. This is a floor area. Okay, so I think we're now good. So the reason why we need to specify here the name and then we need to specify as well the uh, area type because we can colorize our area plan based on the name of the area or based on the name of the area type. Okay, so let us now create a color scheme. Okay, so how to do that so let's click the drop down arrow here and then let's click color scheme so let's click that one all right and then let's specify here our area so let's select areas circulation and then as you can see here you can specify the name here so you can change the name of your uh, area there so instead of overriding our schema one so let us just duplicate that 
So you select that and then let's duplicate it. So let's click this. All right. So let's change the name to circulation. Okay. And then, okay. So we now have a new scheme here, the circulation. All right. And then for the title, so let us specify circulation as well for the title. So circulation. Okay, and then here you can specify if you want to base your color based on the name, based on the area type, based on the name, based on the number, based on the perimeter. So in our case, I'll just select here area type. So I want to colorize the floor plan or the area plan based on the area type. So I just select here, okay. And then again, you can specify here now the colors of your area type. These are the area types, and then you can specify the color here. Okay, so let's say for my building common area, so I can select that. So let's say I can select blue, like, like, like bluish like that. Okay, and then for the floor area, so let's say uh, cyan, so let's say like this. Okay, uh, office area, so let's say green. All right, and then for the uh, store area, click that reddish. Okay, and then after that, select here. Okay. Now that we have created our color scheme, the next thing that we will be doing is from the properties of our level one area plan, we can specify now the color scheme. So where is my color scheme? This one. So color scheme, as you can see, it's none. So let's click that. Let's select circulation and then let's select your OK. There you go. OK. Right. And then you can actually also place the legend somewhere here. OK, so the legend. So let me just look for the legend not here so let's go to annotate okay this one color fill legend I think it's also here on the architecture no oh yeah so it's here colors I oh, no. yeah so it's not there so it's here on the annotate so there's your color fill legend so you click that and then you can now select it or place it here and there you go Okay, so we just created our basic area plan. So this is how you do it. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.